I'm gonna cut right to the chase. Five reasons you should be taking taurine for longevity. Taurine has been touted as a performance aid. Don't get me wrong, it's amazing for that. It's probably one of the coolest discoveries I've made for my personal supplement like arsenal within the last two years. But from longevity perspectives, it's even more powerful. I'm gonna tell you why and as we go, I'm gonna tell you how much to take for various effects. After today's video, our sponsor is Seed and that is a 25% off discount link for their Synbiotic, which is a prebiotic and a probiotic in one capsule. Now I will tell you, I do not recommend probiotics most of the time because most of them have a couple of strains and they're just garbage. But Seed puts their money where their mouth is and this is the honest truth. I stand behind the research that they do. I stand behind all the money they put into research and how much they fund so many studies even if they don't support them. They are legit paving the way when it comes to microbiome research. And that link down below again is 25% off for their Synbiotic which is in itself, very cool technology and the only probiotic I would recommend people take, especially if they're trying to change their life and kind of changing their diet and they need to change their gut microbiome a bit. So that link down below underneath this video, just in the top line of the description. Number one, taurine can decrease your glucose levels, improve your insulin sensitivity and improve your HOMA IR. What does that mean? It means from a metabolic standpoint, it is tremendous. Okay. Hear this out. There was a study published in amino acids that gave subjects 3,000 milligrams of taurine per day. That's actually a decent amount. Like in the performance world, we'll take one to five usually. Okay, what they found with this is that just supplementing that amount in type two diabetics reduced glucose levels significantly. It increased their insulin sensitivity. It decreased insulin resistance. It improved their A1C and their HOMA IR, which is like a lagging indicator of their insulin resistance over time, but it also improved their cholesterol levels. Now we could get into why, but I'll tell you the basics of it. It's helping support and protect the mitochondria. And as we get older, our mitochondria become dysfunctional. And if you're type two diabetic, it's gonna be even worse. So with this, it's a protector. So it's kind of protecting that mitochondria as you get older. What is the sweet spot in dosing for this? Well, taurine acts pretty fast. Now in theory, you could get taurine by just eating good quality protein, but I do think that adding it in, since it declines as we age so much, it declines by like 80% in humans as we age. I think taking a 1000 milligrams to 2000 milligrams two to three times per day prior to eating meals would be a great strategy for this particular use case if you're worried about metabolic issues. Now let's move into the anti-inflammatory side. This is wild. Now, when you think anti-inflammatory, it might be easy for you to just think, oh, my aches and pains, I pop, you know, an aspirin. That's something a little bit different. That's called COX-2, cyclooxygenase enzyme 2, and those are inhibitors for that. So big difference between bumping your knee and it getting swollen or getting stung by a bee and like systemic inflammation that's measured by TNF-alpha or IL-6. That systemic inflammation happens as we age as a result of repairing the DNA damage and responding to the damaged proteins in our body that are just a result of aging. So the journal Molecular Medicine Reports had published a paper that TNF-alpha and IL-6, these inflammatory markers, were reduced by 73%. Now this is tremendous and this was with uh, 300 milligrams per liter. So it was likely done in like an IV form. Now oral absorption of taurine is actually pretty good because a lot of it we get from the diet. Here's what's super wild and it's very important that you know this is that taurine is semi-essential. That means that it's only really needed during times of extreme stress or illness. But as we get older, what triggers these extreme stresses and illness is much less. Like if you're 20, you can get hit by a Mack truck and still make it to your friend's house for a barbecue, right? But when you're older, it's like you fall down and you're in the hospital for two weeks. It's a whole different ball game, right? So with this, it's important to increase dose a little bit more as we age. The next reason you wanna take it for longevity is as an electrolyte enhancer. What does that mean? Well, as we get older, you know that you're more prone to cramping. Electrolyte balancing becomes very important. And it's something that we've only really looked at in aging populations over the last like 10 years or so. But taurine balances our electrolytes. It helps the body understand when to use them appropriately. So if you're going to be sweating 
and you know you're going to have a dysregulation of electrolytes, probably by influence of too much sodium being lost, adding taurine prior to these events and even after can reduce the instance of really uncomfortable cramping, but also help the overall just signal right? It's an action potential being sent from your brain to whatever muscle you're moving. So not only can it help with cramping, but it can also help with overall motor function. This is actually great for anybody, but especially as we get older and you feel like, man, I just, I'm not as like spry as I used to be. I don't have that same motor function. I can't like, you know, dodge a wrench if you're playing dodgeball or something, right? It's just, you, you got to be a little bit more prepared. So that's another reason. And again, same kind of thing, a thousand milligrams, 2000 milligrams prior to exercise can make a big difference. This fourth reason is cardiac related. And it may sound like something that's just not that important to you. And if it's not, I encourage you to still watch because chances are you know someone that it would be important to and it could be a very simple thing. There was a study published in Therapeutic Advances in Cardiovascular Disease that found that 500 milligrams of taurine, just 500 milligrams taken three times per day, reduced cardiac CRP before and after exercise. Now, cardiac CRP is something that a physician might look at and say, hey, like this number is super elevated. Did you just exercise? And as a young person, you might say, yeah, I just exercised. And they're saying, okay, you're at a 10 or a 12. We're gonna let it slide. But if you're older and you're like exercise and your CRP goes up to like 30, 40 or really high, your doctor might be like, hey, this is indicative of some cardiac stress, right? Your cardiac C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory marker in your cardiac system in this case. Now with this, there was improvements just by taking 500 milligrams three times per day. So does cardiovascular disease run in your family? Do you know someone that's dealing with this? It's an inexpensive way to supplement what the physicians might be doing, right? It's the same thing that you're getting from protein, but a lot of times you're not eating enough protein as you age, right? So it's very, very important to make sure you're getting taurine in. It might be the most important thing that we're getting out of meat outside of the actual protein itself. And lastly, there is promising rodent model evidence that it can make us live longer. There was a new study published in Science that demonstrated that mice, monkeys, and humans all have tremendous declines in taurine as we age, okay? But when taurine supplementation was added back in, they saw a 10 to 12% increase in lifespan in mice and worms. They couldn't do a lifespan test in humans because we can't put people in a metabolic chamber for an entire 100 year period. It's just not cool. But we're seeing promising evidence and we're starting to understand again why. It's the anti-inflammatory effect, the oxidative protection effect, the overall mitochondrial support effect, and just everything that's holistic. Now when we look at this, there also was strong evidence suggesting that it improved health span. It improved grip strength, overall strength, it improved glucose levels, it improved fat oxidation, it improved anxiety and depression scores. So it overall can help your health span and your lifespan potentially based on this preliminary research. But we have a lot more digging to do and understanding it. But it seems like all the benefits from meat outside of the protein, we're really getting from taurine and the vitamins and minerals that are in it otherwise. As always, keep it locked in here on my channel and I'll see you tomorrow.